Hello, this is Jim Fisher, and this is a presentation of my personal OD library, prepared for VGSU ORGD 6015, taken in the summer of 2015. The theme is perfect. It's a verb thing. It's not where I'm going, but how am I getting there? It's the journey that perfects me. Now, every goal or project needs a plan for success. So here's my plan. My purpose is to identify my goals and create a Pecha Kucha style video describing my library to reference my artifacts, method, and tools I'm going to use to achieve my goals. The leaders and others involved are myself, my family, my cohort, teachers, and other professionals. My actions are to organize my library, gather the required elements, create the slides, record the audio a few times, and finally publish the video. My needs are my imagination, the computer and microphone, my software tools, and my time. Now, my dream job? Well, what is this concept of a dream or a perfect job? A few years ago, I came to the realization that the job I have is not nearly as important as how I treat others. So instead of a dream job, is there a dream person, so to speak? a role model that I could aspire to. The person I choose as my role model is Jim Henson, the creator of the Muppets. The qualities he had are he was a good communicator. Think of how human and Muppets seemed. He inspired those around him. Think Sesame Street. He stayed true to his talents. He had a joy of life. He was extremely creative. He had a great sense of humor. In order to perfect myself, it's helpful to know where I've been. I'm actually on my fourth career. My first one was as a quality manager, where among other projects, I helped my plant achieve ISO 9000 certification and led many training sessions for internal employees. My second was as an IT manager, where I was very involved with website design and network administration. My third career was as a research engineer. There, I utilized my degree in ceramic engineering to help develop products, investigate customer complaints, and actually train customers. Now I'm in facility management where I'm utilizing project management more, developing my leadership skills, and learning all about budgeting for a facility. Now, what qualities do I currently have? First, I'm pretty good at communicating from the numerous successful training sessions I've had. I'm creative, I've designed new systems and products, Thirdly, I care for people. I have a desire to help people understand things and get things done more efficiently. And finally, I have a sense of humor. I'll let you decide whether it's good or bad. So what do I need to do to become more like Jim Henson? I need to develop my leadership skills. I need to help others develop their skills. I need to be able to resolve conflicts at work because there's plenty of those. I need to, the ability to create good teams. There's not enough of those ever. And I need to work on maintaining my humility. My career portfolio includes the ISO 9000 certificate, the production reporting database, the lab request system, and the sales ordering website I've developed. Also a pictorial journey of my site's improvements that I've facilitated. And key school assignments will be put on my profile page of the company's SharePoint system. Evidence of desirable qualities is not easily measured, but as I successfully complete projects, it will show my progress in achieving the qualities I aspire to. As small projects are completed, larger projects will become available. Further evidence of my progress can be gained from testimonials, such as the skills and endorsements section on LinkedIn. As I complete projects and gain testimonials, they will be added to my portfolio which will help me get projects to continue to challenge me. Future projects that I should look for to further perfect me involve engaging more people and improving teamwork, practice the concepts of good leadership, and become a more effective planner. In my toolkit, I have lots of reference information. Often, the answers are within us, but even so, it's good to have external references. Most of mine come from the books I have in my library. As you can see, I've accumulated quite a collection over the years. Also, I've seen articles which are saved online, and I have videos which I've linked to. 
The technologies that I have used to help me are Trello.com. This is an organizing tool which I used for my affinity diagram project and I'm currently using for Kanban workflow at my job. Workflow.com, which is an outlining tool to organize my many scattered details of projects. Google Docs OneDrive to store files and good old pencil and paper. In an article titled Mastering Change, authored by Katie Matthews and Matthews in 2007, over 300 students looking at different methods for organizational change identified six different design elements they have in common. These six elements were system, purpose, journey, evidence, values, and model. Personally, I should start by becoming a master at one method and learning the design elements thoroughly. Then by learning the aspects of other methods, I will be able to mix, match, and combine them to create new variations and tools which will fit many more situations. By comparing different methods, I was also able to identify my own personal aspects of change. My personal values are enhancing communication, the democratic principles that all voices should be heard, embracing responsibility, looking toward the future, and encouraging learning. My personal purpose and outcomes are to help people have a better life, help them embrace change, improve the communication between them, and help them find common ground. My journey involves planning and preparation, doing the projects, and then evaluation and feedback. The evidence is going to be in my portfolio. My model is the PDCA cycle, which was pioneered by W. Edwards Deming, who is the father of the quality evolution. The plan, do, check, act cycle is a tried and true, well-known template for continuous improvement. It can be applied to many, many situations. So in the end, is it about a dream job? Well, not for me. It is about perfecting myself. I think in the big picture, that's all that matters. And if we do that, then the rest will follow. Will I ever be perfect? No, but as I said, perfect should be used as a verb. I'm getting there, and I'll be good enough for what I need to do.